the second portion of my adventures with Lumberyard. Yay. Hmm. Adventure. There we go. Let's make that good and ready. So here we go. What do we have? First of all, there are two series of tutorials. I finished, I'm going to finish um, lighting and game scripting from the quick reference series. And then um, I looked at the introduction and, and editor overview for getting started guide, and that's where I'm going to move next. And then art, and art is going to take a little bit of time. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, the cloud canvas and then the game lift and programming, scripting, Twitch, hey, UI creation, those will all follow. Um, but right now we are going to knock out the basics. So let's begin. Um, where did I hide? Alright everyone, look away. Don't look, don't look directly at the screen. I don't want you seeing all my secret, all my secret program files. <clears throat> ah, there it is. Aha! There it is. Where's the launcher? Oh, that's right. So the first step to Lumberyard is installing it, configuring it. And then remembering how to launch it. Because if you can't launch it, you're not going to be able to launch it. Alright. Um, I thought I got this. Huh. What does this do? Alright, I don't think I need this today. I'm not going to be compressing any video. Um, so we'll just have to live with that. Now let's launch our editor. Here we go. Launching the editor. Bleep blurp. This might take a moment. So I've also been, um, so besides Lumberyard, I've been working on my Counter Strike, uh, not Mission to Not Suck, so that's been really exciting. Um, I'm encouraged. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I downloaded some. Oh, here we go. Focusing on what's important. That's the task at hand. First level. Here we go. Oh man, an error report? Anchor 1, editor module. Entity failed to spawn. This is bad news, you guys. This is critical to. No, I don't care. I mean, let's let's just let's just go. What? What? Where's my grass? Why is my grass not showing up? This is supposed to be beautiful green grass, not Icelandic grass. Frozen death tundra. All right. Well, let's see what I did wrong. Before I can even go into the tutorials, I am going to have to now. Well, let me just. Okay, yeah, there's Jad Claude Van Damme ba Valley. That is going to be expanded all the way. All the way over here. Yeah. It's the battle to escape the Nether Sphere. Or Hell Island. But whatever. Okay, well, why is my grass not working? Where is the grass? Some people say, where's the love? No. Where's the grass? What's up? 
What's up with my grass? Hey, grass. What? Oh, what? Did I not? What did I not? Did I do something? Did I do something terrible? Am I a terrible person? Well, I guess I am a terrible person, because look at that. Now I have grass everywhere. Um, but my original grass didn't save. That is pretty spectacular. The, what was once the tuning forks of, of Hell Island. I'm liking it. Good job. Good job. Lighting. This is going to be perfect to mess with lighting. The shadows are not, I can't really, you know, make a sundial off these shadows, though. So, that is something we're going to have to remedy. Alright, well, it's... I can't just leave this all not, you know... I have to make my little path, right? Hull Island is a pretty nice place, you know? The real estate's going up. The local population's really just a positive bunch of people. I'm really confident that, that Hell Island is going to be a place for just welcomes all kinds of people, no matter their creed or whatever. Okay, maybe not creed. Let's see if I remember how to do things. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Sorry, I have to. One of my fans is buzzing, and I have to like bop it, or else it's gonna drive me insane. Hey. Hey. Psh. Psh. No. No. Took you apart and rescrewed you like a few weeks ago. You can't be giving me oh, such a hard time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So why didn't it save the grass? Will that do it? I'm tempted to reload the whole thing, but I'm gonna resist. All right. Let's take a vote. Should I continue futzing around, or should I follow the tutorials? Alright. One for tutorials. Two for futzing around. Go. Alright. It looks like a dead tie, so I'm going to do both. Naturally. Um... Oh, good thing I had this still open. Ah! Lovely. That's right, this was like the main thing. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Count. Uh, maybe I should save the texture. Is there anything I can do to save my textures? Okay, well, let me just go back to doing. I was gonna make a little bit of a, a swimming pool, cause who doesn't want a little bit of a swimming pool? I know I do. I do. I do. Oh yeah, there's water down there. I know it. So in the days of old, before there were swimming in video games, you would fall in water and disappear into the nether. Hey, that's pretty cool. I don't know if that's still the case. Also, something I was contemplating, I want to make a cave. How would I go about making a cave, do you think? Right? That's a good question, I think. 
I think that's a very good question. Let's investigate. Alright, that is plenty of depth to go inside of. Now, I honestly don't think this is going to work. I just don't. Yeah, see, it's going to... Maybe down, but into? It's just not something that humans are ready for. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna just dig through from the top down. Can't really think of a way to make a cave. Um well anyways, enough getting ahead of myself. Now I'm gonna go back to the tutorial. As soon as I figure out not making a cave. Real quick, let's see what happens when I go in water. Hey, what the hell? You're what? What? Do you see this? They are mirroring each other. What happens when I go in the water? Huh. It's gonna bob around on it. Can you climb walls? Not too well. Alright. I like that resurrected from the depths, although it's just, um, when is it going to stop? And then it just falls. Okay. Fascinating. Can I ever catch up to my own guy? If I keep him. Hey! If they touch, will they explode because they're the same thing? Oh, no, they don't. Oh, sorry, my collision detection is not up to snuff. Oh, who's going to win the race? Oh, no. Oh, God, who's going to do it? All right. Yep, you're dead. Great. Okay. So, where was that... Hey, hey, what were you doing in the water? I saw you. I saw you. Huh, hmm, hmm. Yep. There we go. Now we're just down to one little robot guy, and the chicken, and my little block of road, and my little street lamp. So I'm pretty sure we're going to use the street lamp, and we're going to uh, make it work. And it's going to be one of those efficiency street lamps that when only whenever a robot is around is it turned on. Fascinating. So, escape. Let's plop that over here, bust out the tutorials. Blam! What was this? No, 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 no. Not the one I want. Here we go. <clears throat> That's not the one I want either. Terrain, placing a camera. No, I want lighting. I okay, let's click it. There we go. Tutorial, Lighting. Now that you've created an environment, you can explore the lighting options in the editor. Environment probes. Before you add lights, you'll want to learn about environment probes. And the time of day and settings that affect lighting and appearance at your level. Okay, shadows cast by objects are very dark, adding... Okay. Reflections. Fun stuff. Good stuff. So let's start here. Alright. 